Okay, okay, good evening, people. How are you today? Hi, thank you, teacher. Welcome back one more time to our class at English Corporativo. Okay. We are okay. module beginners three. Mm -hmm. Today is what day is today? Today is Monday, September 30th. 30th. Yes. Monday, September 30th. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are ready for a new class. Let's wait for the other students. Join the class to start. We are going to we're going to look at this phrase for today. Um, give me a second. Close this. <clears throat> and this. I have it ready here. Okay. Okay, today's quote says, if you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Okay, one more time, listen. Mm -hmm. If you are willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop okay. you. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? I want to ask you what is the meaning of willing? What is willing? Yeah. You look in your dictionaries. What okay. is the meaning of willing? Yeah. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. Complaciente. Complaciente. No. Complaciendo. No. Willing. Look for another meaning. Dispuesto, teacher. Yes. Complaciente. Dispuesto. Dispuesto. Disposición. Okay. 
if you are not willing to learn. And what is learn? Aprender. Aprender. Okay. So, what is the meaning of the first part? This part. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. What is that? Willing. Uh -huh. What is that? If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. Si no está dispuesto a aprender, nadie, nadie podrá ayudarte. Exactly. No. You may have the best teacher in the world, but if you are not willing to learn, no. Oh. You know, they said that they you have Judas. You know, Judas, Judas. Ah, he had the best teacher. Yes or no? In the Bible. Judas, he had the best teacher in the universe, the master, but he didn't want to learn. My goodness, ¿quién entró con todo y moto? Está temblando, hasta aquí tiembla por la moto que acaba de pasar. Okay, and the second part, if you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Ah, it's the opposite. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. You understand that? Yes. Si tu estas determinado a aprender. Yes. No Nadie one, te podrá parar. Exactly. No one can stop you. Okay? Not even the rain, the money, uh, the, uh, uh, the time. Okay? No. You want to learn, you are going to do everything to learn. What do you think? Is true or false? It's true. That is true, right? Okay. So, repeat after me, please. Let's practice. Repeat um, this. If you are not willing to learn, repeat. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. No one, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, if you, if you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. No one can stop you. Yes, one more time. Repeat. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. Repeat. If you are not willing to learn, no, no one, one can, can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. If you, if you are determined to learn, learn, no one can stop you. Okay, good. Are you determined to learn English? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay. okay, no one can stop you. Okay? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's continue today. Uh, let's have a quick review on what we studied last class. Okay, we had an article here about these people activities. Uh huh. These people summer activities or weekend activities yes 
Sure. Let me read the first one quickly. Okay, this one. Kelly. Kelly says, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I am really happy for her and I really like her husband. Okay, number two, Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. And finally, Erin. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. Uh, any question with this? With these articles? Any uh, a full weekend? Robert, this. A full. All full. All full. Uh huh. This. This? Horrible. All full. Yeah, it's horrible, terrible, bad. All full. Now, okay. Any other question? Okay. So I have have some questions for you. Remember, I gave you some statements to check through or false. Okay. Let me, did you do this? Yeah. Hello people, did you do it? Kelly wants to have Let me ask uh, Joanna. Hi Joanna. It's true. Hi. Okay, can you read number one, please? Read number one. Kelly went to her best friend's wedding. Okay, is that true or false? True. True, ah, okay, very good, very good. Dinora, number two. Hi, teacher. Can you read number two, please? Kelly Beth Frankel Mary in hotel. Aha, uh -huh. is that true or false, Dinora? False. False. Aha, uh -huh. why? Why is that false? Where did Kelly's best friend get married? Where? Class, can you help? Where did Kelly's best friend get married? Where? What place? Uh-huh. They went 
at home. At home, yes. She got married at home, not in a hotel. Correct, it's false. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number three, let me ask to uh, Patricia Aleman. <laughs> Can you read number three, Patricia? Okay, Helen. True. Sparing serpent, a wonder, serpent, a uh -huh. wonderful meal before the ceremony. Ajá, ajá. ¿Qué dijimos de la pronunciación de esta ED? ¿Qué dijimos? No se pronunciaba. So, era pecado pronunciar. Era pecado decir ed, ¿verdad? Ah. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo debe ser entonces? Served. 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 Very good. So, is that true or false, Patricia? Helen's parents yeah. served a wonderful meal before the ceremony. True or false? It's true. Aha, uh -huh. somebody says true. Is that true, class? Yes, teacher, it's true. Patricia, it's true? It's true. True? Jessica <laughs> says it's true. I don't know. <laughs> Her parents are a wonderful meal. No, uh -huh. uh -huh. Wonderful meal before the sun. Uh -huh. It's fa false. It's false. Why? Why? Because they... Uh -huh. Because... Because... Um, Come on, look. Read uh, carefully. Was after... After. Yes. It's here, it says before. I uh -huh. It's false. Before. I know. The wonderful it's meal out. was after the ceremony. Was after ceremony. Okay. So this is false. Okay. It's false. It is false. It was not before. It was after the ceremony. It was okay, after. number four. Jessica, are you there? Robert had a terrible weekend. It's okay. True. It's false. False? Yes, but Robert uh, says uh, had a awful weekend. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Yes, but weekend. it's true. But it's true. <laughs> but what is the meaning of awful? Horrible. Horrible. Uh -huh. Horrible. Bad. Terrible. It's a synonym yes. of terrible. Uh -huh. So it is true. True, yes, number four is true. True. Okay, very good. Now let's see. Gabriel, can you read number five, please? Robert and his friends went to a concert. It is true. It is true. It's true. Very good. Very good. It is the, the concert that rock Exactly. Eh, aquí me comí una té. Miren, aquí me la comí. I went to a rock concert. Number well, six. Who is expert L1? ¿Quién, es ex ¿Quién tiene un expert? Exper Experia, experia. 
Hello, Xperia. Xperia? What? Hello. What is Xperia? Ah, Xperia. What is your name, sí. Xperia? Eh, Ricardo. Oh, Ricardo. Uh, okay. <laughs> La marca Change. de teléfono. Hello. Sí. Change the name. <laughs> ok, sí. Ricardo, number six. Six. Eh, Robert in Jones. Team Music. music. Ajá. True or false? Eh, eh, false. False. Why? Robert in Jones. Why, Ricardo? Why? Why? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. It's true. 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 See. Sí. Oh. Class is true or false? No, true. True. I didn't like the music. But... Ah, it's true or false, class? Class. <laughs> Yes, true. True. It's false. It's it is false, false. Ricardo. It's You're false. right. It is false. My question ah, is yeah. why? Why? Yeah. Sí. Why is why? that false? Porque. Eh, porque le gusta la. Le gusta la música. He like the music? I like the music. Are you sure? Right. Sí, and the tune. Como. Así dice. He like the music. The. He didn't like. He didn't like. Okay. He didn't like the music. The music. Yeah, he yeah. didn't like the music. Okay. okay. Let's continue with uh, Patricia Abarca. Number seven. Patricia, me agarra en curva. Acabo de conectar otra vez. Okay, read. Read number seven. Me pasé un buen rato sin internet. At 10 p.m. Léalo. Y con mi padre. And they come and go. As. ¿Lo puede ver? Number 10, number 7. No. No. No, sí, si ahora yo estoy conectada con el celular, la computadora, ya me la termino el link. Ah, vaya, vamos a ver entonces. A ver, ¿quién falta? I don't. ¿Quién falta? ¿Quién falta? Okay, let's go. Let's one more time. Jessica. It's false. Number seven. They got home at 10 p.m. They got home at 10 p.m. Uh -huh. mm, I don't remember. False. <laughs> False? false. False. Yes, teacher, false. Why? Because he false. Because his car broke down. False. Uh -huh. False. So, are you sure? Let me check. Mm. Ah, what time? Because. What time did they get because, home? Because it's mm. 10 a.m. Yes, they got home at 10 a.m., oh. not 10 p.m. Very good, very good. Number eight, let me ask to Miguel. Welcome, Miguel. Miguel, Miguel. Dinora, No, Dinora, one more time. Thank you. 
Me apareció Miguel. Hello. Hello. Who? Miguel or Dinora? Quien? Cualquiera. Okay, class. Erin went camping for the first time. True or false? Class? Erin mm. went camping for the first time. It's true. That's true. 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 Yes. true. Nine. She got up late on Sunday. She got up late on Sunday. True or false? False. 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 Yeah, she got up very early. And number 10, she liked camping. True. 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 Really? Are no, you it's sure? False. It's false. 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 Why she, did she? Are real? She said that. I don't she know. Did <laughs> she did lie. She did. Yes. She didn't like. Yeah. She said that she learned a lot. But look here. I didn't really like camping. But I learned a lot. Ah, that is different. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it is false. This is false. Let me erase this. Because it is false. Okay, very good. Very good. Let's practice the pronunciation, please. Let me write this, this. Okay, repeat after me, please. Kelly went to her best friend wedding. Kelly, Kelly went, went to, to her best friend wedding. Kelly went to her best friend wedding. Kelly's best friend got married in a hotel. Kelly's best friend got married in a hotel. Best friend got married in a hotel. Best friend got married in a hotel. Hotel. Ho, hotel. Ho, hotel. hotel. In English, the H is not mute. In English, the H rara vez es muda. Casi siempre suena como J. Oh, ah, okay. Recuerden, horse. Hotel. House. Hotel. Uh, hotel. Hospital. 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 Hamburger. Uh, hamburger. Hamburger. The H, hamburger. Usually the H sounds like nuestra J. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, number three. Helen's parents served a wonderful meal before the ceremony. Helen's parents served a wonderful meal before the ceremony. Four. Robert had a terrible weekend. Robert had a terrible weekend. Robert had a terrible weekend. Five. Robert and his friends went to a concert. Robert and, Robert and, Robert and uh, went to a concert. And his friends went to a concert. Six. Robert enjoyed the music. Robert enjoyed the music. Robert enjoyed the music. Seven. They got home at 10 p.m. They go. They go. Ten p.m. Ten p.m. Are home at ten p.m. Eight. Erin went camping for the first time. Erin went camping for the first time. For the first time. Nine. She got up late on Sunday. 
Then she likes camping. She likes camping. Okay, very good. Okay, I'll give you uh, five minutes to write five sentences about your activities on the weekend. Your activities on the weekend. Okay? Right now, okay. five okay. sentences, quickly. Five. Write in your notebook. Write in your notebook five sentences you did on the weekend. Five. Five minutes. La sentencia del mar. Existe el paro, le Existe el paro, le Suscripción es en navegación libre, dice. Aquí, última compra, dice navegación libre, activación. Activar, dice.
Okay, I'm going to put you in groups so you can practice reading your sentences. Okay, let's make. Uh, 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 some groups. Three groups. Okay. In the groups, please read your sentences. Read the activities you did during the weekend, okay? Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Join the groups, please. Join the groups. And read the sentences.
Okay, welcome back. Good. Okay, we have we have studied uh, so far hasta aquí so far we have studied the simple past with different verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Now we are going to study the past form of one verb, verb B. The past form of verb B. Okay? okay. I'm going to play uh, this video. So please pay attention to the video. And then we are going to talk about this. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started. Started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject 
plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, okay. So we're going to see this in the conversation. Okay, we are going to see how to use the past of B in the conversation, okay? Look, where were you born, Melissa? This is one. Where were you born, Melissa? Where, where were you born? Born, Melissa. I was born in Korea. Oh, I was, so I was in born Korea. in Korea. Okay, listen, only listen for one moment, okay? Then we are going to practice. Right okay. now, listen. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were, again, pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. I was born here. Okay. Where was, wherein, where was, wasn't, was. This is the verb be in past. Okay. The verb be in past. Where were you born, Melissa? I know in Spanish is different. Si esto, si esto lo tradujéramos literalmente, diría, ¿dónde tú fuiste nacido? ¿Verdad? Porque usan el, 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 el verbo to be en pasado. El ok, en pasado. No... Nosotros decimos donde naciste, okay? But in English, this is the form. I was born in Korea. Yo nací en Corea. Okay? Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999, etc. Okay, now let's practice the conversation, okay? Let's practice, please. Repeat after me. The conversation between Chuck and Melissa. Where were you born, Melissa? Where, 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 where were you born, born Melissa? Melissa? Okay, good. I'll repeat. I was born in Korea. I was, I was born, born in Korea. 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 
Korea. Korea. Korea. Korea. Oh, so oh. you weren't born Wait, in the U.S. Oh, oh, oh so you weren't you born were in, in, the US. in the U.S. No, oh. I came here in 1999. I was born oh, in I Korea. Came here I came in, in, in 1999. Yeah. Hmm. You were pretty young. You were pretty young. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Yes, I yes, was only was 17. 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you Did go you to go college to right, right, to right, away. right away? You know, my English wasn't very good. No, no. my no, English my was very was good. good. So I took English classes for two good. years first. So I took so English I classes for two years. For two years. Well, your English is really good now. Well, well your English, well, English, English, really English is really good now. English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Thank you. Well, your English, well, is your English is very good too. English is very good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Yeah, but, yeah, but I was born, born here. here. Okay. Any yeah. question with the conversation, yeah. with the vocabulary? Thanks. Your English. It's yeah. really good to yeah. right away. Right away. Let me right away. Right away is like immediately. Okay. Immediately. Yeah, but I was born here. Did you go to college? immediately okay that is the idea of right away o en este momento puede traducirse también for example cuando usted le pide algo a alguien y le responde okay right away ahorita verdad but in the conversation es como Ella dice que llegó en el 99. Entonces él le pregunta, Did you go to college right away? O sea, ¿fuiste a, a la escuela inmediatamente después de llegar? Ok. Esa es la pregunta, right away. Por eso Melissa le dice, No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. So she didn't go to college immediately. She took English classes first. Para poder ir al, al college. Primero, studied English. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. What is the meaning of pretty here? Miren, se usa aquí. Y se usa aquí. Pretty. Ok, es un sinónimo. Ajá. Es un sinónimo de very. Very. ¿Verdad? Es como que dijéramos, you were very young. Es lo mismo. Eras muy joven. You were very young. Ok. O aquí, your English is pretty good. Es como decir very good. ¿Verdad? En este caso, pretty. Ese es en este caso. Porque pretty eh, tiene otros significados también. So, pretty woman. Remember the movie. Ok. 
okay? Or the song, Pretty Woman, Walking Down the Street. Eso es otra cosa. Pretty Woman. Okay, Mujer Bonita, Pretty Woman. ¿Y cómo puedo saber yo que tengo que agregar el pretty? Es sinónimo. No, como lo quiera, como lo quiera usar. Ok. En este caso, toda esta casa ha pasado, ¿verdad? Oh, yes. Sí. ¿Podría ahí ser una regla no, o no? No, 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 no. Ok. Porque tú puedes decir, uh, my brother is pretty uh, young. He's present. My brother is pretty young. Es lo mismo que decir, my brother is very young. Podría decir entonces, I am, I am pretty good. Yes. Mm, yes. Se puede Blue. usar Aquí en está. vez de very. Yes. Yeah. Aquí está, pretty miren. Good. Your English is pretty good. It's present. Yeah. Ok. So, esa es otra forma de decir very. Ok. okay. Es otra forma. Pretty young. Uh, okay, very good. Well, we are going to stop here. It is, it's time. Uh, practice the conversation, complete the exercises in the platform. Uh, ¿Ya terminaron la unidad 4 en la plataforma? No. Yeah. Ok, los que ya, muy bien, los que no, pónganse. Yo tengo una consulta. Dime. ¿Cuándo termina este módulo? Eh, el jueves. jueves. Y el jueves tengo que tener terminado todo lo de la plataforma. Yes. Eh, yes. yes. O dan días de gracia, ¿no? No. Uh, maybe Friday. No. no. No, vi un weekend. Hay que terminar. Okay. Yo pensaba que era el 2, pero estaba bien afligida. Por eso le pregunto. Teacher, no, y cuando uno termina ya la plataforma, sale como que ver el certificado. Sí. Ya no le da más opciones. Sí. No. Certificado o. No, no sé cómo, cómo lo manejan. Si nos van a dar diploma, teacher. Yo tengo otra pregunta. A ver. Cuando yo estoy viendo los videos, aparecen que yo tengo que grabar eh, la pronunciación de algo en la herramienta Bucarú. Yo la hago, la agrego, ah. pero la mayoría no lo hace o, o lo escribe, pero no graba según la herramienta que dice al final del video. Pero el hacer las actividades no tiene ponderación, o sea que no es importante, o sí. Para, para su aprendizaje, sí, ¿verdad? Usted puede, Pero no es parte del pro, pro, progreso que dentro no, no, de la... No son evaluadas esas actividades. Solo los, los eh, exámenes, las actividades. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. ¿Verdad? ¿Se protege? Ahí usted se graba, usted puede escucharse, ¿verdad? Pero no es parte del aprendizaje. De la, de la evaluación. De la evaluación. No. no son evaluadas. No. Ah, ya por eso la mayoría quizás no las hace. ¿verdad? Ah, probablemente. Uh -huh. Hay tiempo, algunos no nos queda tiempo, pero... Ok. Sí, porque yo me afligí, entonces dije yo, quería preguntar. Teacher, una consulta, este, y al terminar el jueves, ¿cómo va a terminar el módulo? Usted va a ponernos allí para que descarguemos el diploma que nos van a dar. Eh, eso, eso lo maneja la administración, eso tal vez con Marvin. Ah, sí, porque Ahí, nosotros, para para el, el señor que sale, Jorge, creo que se llama, el que sale en los videos. José. Con él tuvimos la primera videoconferencia que fue un viernes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces él dijo que íbamos a descargar nosotros el diploma. Sí. Ah, okay. Pero ¿en qué momento sí, lo van a enviar a nosotros para que lo podamos hacer? Cuando ¿no? termine. ¿En qué 
Me Cuando entremos. termine ya sale la opción y ahí le aparece la impresora, si usted lo puede imprimir ya. Ah, bueno, pues. Uh -huh. okay, no va a haber party. Mm. <risa> <risa> teacher, otra party. consulta. A ver, diga. Hay que aprovechar al teacher porque va a acabar el tiempo. Mire, y el otro módulo, ¿qué módulo sería el Cuatro, el cinco. Porque yo estaba para un principiante y aparezco en el número tres. ¿Y usted va a dar el siguiente o ellos reparten así otra vez los grupos? Um, usualmente se continúa por un par de módulos, pero todo depende de, de la administración. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué podemos pedir con usted el grupo? Yo... Sí. Sobre eso, Creo teacher. Que sí. No sé. Sí, no, Por mí sí. no hay problema. Seguí la secuencia, teacher. <risa> sí, <risa> yo. Ok, no problema. Sí. Usualmente sí. Teacher, pero a mí me han mandado el de primer módulo. ¿Cómo se llama? Intermedio primero Intermedio. me han mandado a mí. Sí, uh, no estoy muy al tanto cuál es. Veamos la plataforma, pero no. Uh -huh. Ahí no aparece. No. no recuerdo yo en este sistema cuántos módulos son por... El intermedio uno por me nivel. han mandado, Ticho. Ah, bueno. Sí. Mira, yo pensé que el cuatro seguía. No. Ya, ya por el intermedio, ok. Dele con todo. Sin miedo. ¿Y a dónde vio eso, Patricia? En, Patricia. en la hoja que manda. Ya creo que es en... Como ya mandaron la documentación, no sé. Ah, Ahí sí no ah, sé okay. cómo funciona Así allá, eso. eso lo maneja ahí la administración. La administración. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, otra pregunta. Ok, teacher. No more questions. No more questions. No more questions. Ok, very good. Good night then. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. You too. Everyone. Dream in English. Ok. Sure. Bye bye. Bye Take bye. Care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.